Hello, boys and girls. Are you ready to do another fun activity with Miss Melanie? Good. So, before we begin, let's review what we were talking about. We've been talking about seeds. And you remember this picture I showed you? What do seeds need to grow? And we said they need soil. See here, soil. They need warmth, which is the sun. And they need water, which you can water them or the rain could water them. Now, today, I told you we're going to do a fun activity. Do you remember a few weeks ago we used... That's right! Play-Doh. We did an activity using Play-Doh. And I have my colors here. What color is this? Green, yes. What color is this? Blue, yes. And what color is this? Red, good. And what color is this? Yellow, excellent. Now blue, you may need, I'm not gonna be needing blue for my activity, but if you decide to do something that's blue, you can use it. Now, we made landforms. Remember the different landforms? I made an island, I made a hill, I made a volcano or a mountain. There were so many different landforms we could make. So since we're talking about seeds, do you remember that word? Seeds, S-E-E-D-S, -E -E seeds. Why don't we make the plants? that grow from those seeds. Now, I chose already three different seeds, and that means three different plants. Now, before we begin, you will need paper, which I'll show you right now what we're gonna do with it. You need your Play-Doh, you need your scissor, and you need paper towel roll or anything that's brown. Paper towel roll I'm using, you can use a piece of paper, a construction, brown construction paper. You could use a piece of a box. You could take paper and cut a strip and color it brown with a brown crayon and marker, a brown piece of cloth. So the first thing you have to do is fold your paper in half, two pieces, you need two pieces of paper. But you're only gonna use three pieces of it. So here's two pieces of paper. You fold it in half. And then we're gonna use our scissor and cut our paper. Remember, when you do cut, cut away from your body. All right, just like Ms. Mellon, you see how I cut away from my body? I cut along the line I just made, away from my body, and I have one, two, three, four. But we only really need three pieces because you need to put your plant on it because it's gonna be easier to see it. So we put all three in front of us. And after I do one, I can move it over. So there's the three pieces. I have the Play-Doh in front of me, which I put blue to the side. And I have my yellow. You could take it out so it's easier. So I'm gonna take it out of the container this time. Last time I left it in the container. I haven't played with the Play-Doh since we've done landforms. So here's my yellow. Good. Now let's take the red out. I wonder what plants I'm going to make. We'll find out. Let's take the red out. Come on. Sometimes it gets stuck in there. There we go. I got the red out. Put the red to the side now. Now the good green. Ooh, let's see if I can just come on, green, come out. Oh, I will get it. Oh, got a little bit out. Oh, got all over my fingers. It's all right. You will wash your hands after, and that's what Ms. Melanie will do. I will wash my hands afterwards. All right, so there's the green. Now, the first one I want to do, oh, do you remember what these are? <laughs> Good, yes. They are 
lima beans. <laughs> See, lima beans. And what does a lima bean plant look like? So these are lima bean seeds, and we're doing our experiments. I hope you are, because Melanie's experiment is still in her window. We're going to make a lima bean plant. And lima beans are inside a pod. And Ms. Melanie will show you how to make a lima bean plant. So I'm going to put this to the side. And what color was the lima bean plant? Green. I'm not going to use all of it because I need it for something else. Are you ready? I'm going to move these over. I have my green. So we take some of the lima bean, some of the green Play-Doh, and we make a little leaf or you can make a stem. I'm making the little stem first before I make the leaf that the pods are in. So you roll it out. And you can make it as thin or as thick as you want. Ms. Melanie's rolling it out. And here it is. The next part, I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to make the leaf. And it kind of looks like a crescent moon, right? Shaped like a crescent. So I'm gonna make my leaf, my pod or my leaf to be shaped like a crescent. So here is one. And put it, connect it. And then I'm gonna make, I'm only gonna make two actually. Actually, I can make three, I see. I can make a small one. And that's number three, and I curl it like you're making a happy face to help you understand. It could look like a little happy face. Mm. Can flatten them out more. And I'm going to show you my lima bean plant. And here it is. Miss Melanie's lima bean plant. Does it look like it? Let's see. Here it is. And make sure it doesn't pull. It looks like it. Yay. All right. We're ready for our next one. So Miss Melanie's gonna put this to the side and I have the other piece of paper. Are you ready? What is this? Do you remember? Yes, it's sunflower seeds. Can you say it's sunflower seeds? What comes from a sunflower seed? Do you remember? Good, a sunflower. So I gotta make sure I make a stem leaves i have a middle part and i have the petals all right let's see what i can do so i need a little bit more green again i got to make a stem so your stem could be as long as you want or as short so again you take the piece and you roll it out you gotta roll it out roll it out keep rolling keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. And we roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. Oh, you're gonna roll a long time. Okay, there's my stem. And I'm gonna make two, two leaves. Take two pieces of green, scrunch it together, and you make one leaf go here. You scrunch it together, and make another leaf go here. And there we go. I have my stem and my leaves for my sunflower. Now for the center of my sunflower, I'm gonna use a little red. Take some red, roll it like a ball, like that, and you squish it down for the center. Now what's the next part that we need? Let's look. Sunflowers have petals. So let's make some petals. And what color are the petals? 
yellow. Yes, so here's the yellow. So you need to take a few small pieces, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I chose ten. Let's give a little bit more to this one. This one looks a little small. So this is what I do. Make a little ball, right? And put it around. Make them all into little balls first with one hand and put all them around it. This is the easy way and it will help you. You put it all the way around the center of the sunflower. And you know what's in the center of the sunflowers, right? Yes, the sunflower seeds. That's what happens. At the end of a season, the sunflowers start wilting and that means they cannot live anymore. And so what people do is they pick the sunflower seeds out of the center of the sunflower and that's what we eat. Or you can grow them again. All right, I'm almost done. Let's count to make sure. All right, I want to squish this one down a little bit so I can put the last one in. All right, so let's see how many little balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten. So I have 10 petals. You remember over here what I had? Three pods. All right, let's continue. And we squish, and we squish down. Okay, ready? And here is my sunflower. Doesn't it look the same? Yes, it does. All right. Our last one we're making is, which ones are these? Apple seeds, yes. So we're going to make what grows and Apple tree, good. So to make an apple tree, this is where we get the scissor again. So you take your paper towel roll, you take your scissor, cut away from yourself like that, good. And you cut again, make sure to cut away from yourself and not to hurt yourself, right? Cut and you cut again. And put your scissor down, you put your paper towel rolls, and here is the trunk of the tree. Take the rest of your green, roll it up like that, squish it down to make the leaves of the tree, and then you can make apples. So I'm going to make five apples, just like the petals, one, two, Take some red, a little bit of red, three, four, and five. But this time I'm not gonna squish down because apples are nice, round, and juicy. So I did five apples. And here we go. Five apples. So here is my uh -oh. my apple tree. Here is my sunflower, and here is my lima bean plant. Well, I hope you all had fun making this uh, plant Play-Doh project with me. I'll see you soon. Bye.